That's, that was me many years ago. I don't think compare, having, you know, me from, you know, 17 years old to this next to each other is really a good idea. I probably shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> All right, welcome to the best of Comedy After Dark 1994. 1994 was not our best year. As far as being a talk show host, I had gotten much better. I think it's, it's an interesting thing about doing, doing the show at the age of 16 through 18. Um, because you grow so much more than, say, someone who's in their 30s would. I mean, you take someone like, say, Dave Letterman, and you think of maybe the past four years of his show... It's pretty much been the same. Same skits, same kind of bits, the same look of the show, same set. He hasn't really changed all that much. You know, it's you're watching the same show. Think of the same thing maybe with Jay Leno and even Conan O'Brien. But then you take someone who's 16 years old, who in life itself is growing. Not only in height, but with experience, with becoming an adult. You know, I mean... You're going from being a kid to an adult, and the age of 16 to 18 is a big difference. There is a much big... I mean, you can see it when you watch these shows, how different I am from 16 to 18. So, I think to, to see the show in that period of time was just... It's, it's just very dramatic of how things change from the beginning to the end. It really is. In 1994, you can clearly see it. I, am, I talk a lot more like I am talking now. Clearer, louder... I don't say as many stupid things. I was not really the best speaker when I started the show, and I would try to make a joke, and it would come out stupidly. And by the time 1994 came out, I really had removed that from myself and uh, didn't talk that way. It was much clearer. But 1994, as even though I was better at doing it, and the show was better, better camera work, it didn't, it wasn't, you know, it was easier to watch it. Uh, we had lost the band. Uh, we had a new cast, which things didn't work out too well with them. They they didn't have the chemistry that that I had with the cast from 1993, and they didn't quite have an understanding of the show. They didn't get it, um, and they were much younger than than us. So I just think it didn't work too well. Um, and on top of that, I think one big mistake we made: we had started making movies. Um, we liked to break off from doing the regular show and just make these movies, and it was. I don't know. I'm not, I think we just kind of went over, went over our heads a little bit, and we started making too many of these things. And I think it took away from the show itself and the momentum we needed to keep the show going. We probably would have ended the show at about 110 instead of 100 episodes if we didn't do the movies, because the movies took a long time to do, and we would take months off from doing the show to do these movies. So, in any case, uh, still there were still some good stuff to show from 1994, and. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Is that they don't cut? What are you doing? What? You can't take my box! Just like you took my rubber. Never mind. <laughs> Anyways, Harvest Crisp Brownies, they're good. They don't clog up my arteries. Got this box of Harvest Crisp Brownies, and they're good. They're out of control. So one night, one night I was with, I was with this prostitute here, and we were doing it, and I forgot my rubber... Never mind, I, I won't repeat it. I love them. They're good. Harvest crisp brownies. Now, what do you think of harvest crisp brownies? That's not funny. Anyways, you know, Kathy Lee has a son. He's 25 years old and he still wears diapers. He still takes a leak in his diapers. And what are you looking at? These are brownies, harvest crisp brownies. Mmm. I love them. Now here, I want my box. You take hold my box. You hold something else till later. Anyways, as the story goes, Joy was in the room watching me and her in bed. We're doing it and doing it and doing it. She was doing her nails, and I was doing my hair. But then we, what do you want? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Come on, baby, jump my bones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. That felt nice. You jerked my pole. This is a pole. It's a microphone pole. What? Any 
What's the matter here? Come on. Don't you want me? Oh, oh no. I came on today's show to talk about the children because they mean something to you. You love all people. I love Please people. explain to the people at home what you feel and what you want them to do. Well, I would love for you all to save these poor children. They're starving. They're hungry. They're out somewhere in a poor, deserted place. Somewhere where they have no food, no shelter. They're dirty. They're disgusting. They have bugs. And I think that's horrible. They do? <laughs> oh, oh dirty kids, huh? Please. You're making me cry. I'm sorry. And if you would just donate to this wonderful foundation, Save the Children, it could help them, give them nourishment, get them clean clothes, get them an education. It could help save these children, because remember, these children are our future. And just thinking about them makes me so sad. I can't believe it. It's like, it's like, it's like, you don't even care. You don't even care. What do you want? Nobody cares! What'd he say? <laughs> Excuse me, I gotta go. But I'm sure you would. Yes, but why do all plumbers, um, why do all plumbers have that? I'm not exactly sure. I think it must be something <coughs> to do with the fact that... <coughs> I'm shocked! I didn't write it. But you know, Sally. Stop making me fry the children! <laughs> Sally, you know, I have a joke about the children. It's so funny. You know, the kids were. And they were going to go right with No, wait, with the phone. And then. Oh, you. 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 <laughs> Do not care enough. They're not loving enough. They're very cold hearted. And I feel. That's it's just a shame. Please stop that. Please. Please, this is serious. I feel horrible. You're throwing this hammer, please. Okay, go on, Sally. The children who are starving and sick and poor. It makes me sad because what if I was like that? I would not like that. So I would like you, who are well off and have money, to donate your money to save them. And if you don't, you are just horrible, cold hearted. I feel as if they need to be reached out and helped. Please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you, please. Help the children. Do not be fools. Do not be greedy. Because that makes me sick. That makes me angry. Help the children. Help the children. Oh, my Thank you, child. Thank you. Thank you, child. Your generosity will be... Gina, are you standing up? <laughs> She's standing up. <laughs> no, I'm not coming out here. Then I have boots. Go out here, Paul. Go out, Paul. <laughs> District in Studio One, it's Comet After Dark starring Mike Burr. Hey ladies, how's it going? Hi, Hi Mike. Mike. Why don't you come in here? Hey, hey, lady. 
Jesus, yeah, right. Ooh. Three shows left, thank God. Okay, uh, oh, I have nothing. I am blank here. I have nothing. No. I have nothing. The Tanya Harding thing. I think it's ridiculous that people have to go around and hit each other for uh, comedy purposes or just to, to get what they want. I mean, they. Ah! So you're watching the news. That's all I'm going to say. That's a joke. You're watching the news. Isn't that funny? <laughs> you're watching the news and stop stealing my jokes. And you're watching the news and there. Are people. You have the desk and they're sitting there telling the news. Anyways, other n no. Okay, but they liked it because they have no heart, so they do things like this. We so no! <laughs> no we have an important announcement to make. The President of the United States... Has died. That's right. <laughs> the President of the United States has been shot. And he's dead. He <laughs> Could I please finish my joke? We have an important announcement to make. The President of the United States has been shot. In other news, Hippie the Clown just made a new record, that's right! Hippie the Clown made a new record. In other news, fire and devastation. It hurts me to think that people die in such things as fires, but other than that, the weather today was beautiful, sunny day. You see, they have these transitions from, we have a serious news story, someone was killed too, happy! My joke and my thing, I did this on the show in the past, and it was very funny, and everybody laughed, and I will find the tape somehow and make sure of it. It worked out, but you people are idiots, and you don't know anything about comedy, so you're just sitting there with your mouths open, licking the floor, because all you care about is sex, because that's all you people think about. You sit there with your dazed looks, looking at me like I'm some kind of a Martian, but I know what I'm talking about, because I made this joke before, and everybody laughed. It was a big joke, and I'm talking real good. But then you sit here, and you, tr you just look at me, and you don't even listen to my jokes. I made a good joke, and none of you laugh, because you just sit there. But then you keep on talking. Don't you tell me to shut up on my own show, because I'll kick you out of here so fast. You don't even know what the hell you're doing here. You understand what I'm talking about? Now I'm talking about right, right here. I'm sitting here trying to do a monologue. Like none of you people even understand what I'm saying. I'm trying to talk over here, but none of you care because all you care about is yourself. I'm making good jokes here, but do you understand what I'm saying? No, no, you don't understand what I'm saying. You're just sitting here at my desk and look at my new set. It's a nice new set, not like I like it, but there's a floor and there's all things all over the floor, but you don't even know what I'm talking about, do you? You're just going to stand there like I'm talking out of a Martian, but yeah, I'm not a Martian. I'm a good man. I know what I'm doing. I can make a good comedy joke if I want to, and this was a good comedy joke. It was really funny, and it's raining outside right now, but you know, there's a sleet, and the rain's going to freeze out the ground. It's going to be snowing, and somebody's going to crash into a snow and get stuck there, and then someone else is going to. Luckily, I didn't finish that word, because if I did finish that word, it would be good, I swear, and that, that wouldn't be good, because we have to leave that on show. You know what I'm talking about? Because we're doing this live, and we're not editing it. This is a right live show, and we're going to be doing this. But I think right here in coming after we're going to have a great show. We're going to be doing all kinds of things. We have Sally Struthers right here in a good news break with our new host. I'm going to be right back after this, because we're going to have a commercial break right now for Who Watches? Uh, Serial by Al Pacino. So I'll see you in a moment. Goodbye. Uh, no. I'm wearing nothing. Woo! Yeah. No, I just got a little... Just got a little, little uh, speedos on. They're black. Yeah. Ooh, what are you wearing? Really? Well, I. Oh. <laughs> I gotta go, Jack. See you later. Ah. Uh, hello. Welcome, welcome to uh, uh, Comedy After Dark. Show number. Ninety-seven. Ninety-six. Ninety-six. And. Uh, a poor player gets hit in the crotch. Ooh, that could hurt. What is it with these side comments that I'm hearing? It just, is it something that you were told to do? I mean, it's just. No. Hello, be quiet. Shut up! That was me. I threw my voice. Isn't that good? Shut up!